dear vlog and the prospective viewers I may have in the future. <laughs> and if you're watching this, you, you really got to search for better quality entertainment than this. Um, so we just finished day one. <sighs> We're pretty sure we did two miles. <laughs> All this fancy gadget me and stuff we're gonna we'll probably we'll verify it with a map look at it but so we we got here it actually you know i um i'm kind of surprised i mean i was very hesitant and worried and just wanted to pace myself it's you know you don't know if you've never done this and you know your gear how it's gonna feel and everything and so you get into the groove and you, you get a certain level of pain that's kind of got to get settled into it and then you, you you know to me you think about it and go okay is this is this going to get better or am I going to get worse and how many miles I'm going can I do 10 miles can I do eight miles um I trained the biggest I did was eight miles and it hurt I mean but I did it without stopping so today I think it was really cool and wise I think we were smart in um what 45 minutes we set um to stop and when we started out and then I stretched and used some cool little stretches that I learned from um, some yoga master. I don't know. He said he had to get to some Death Star to get. But anyway, um, I digress. So it, that, and then we dropped on in out of Little Bear Canyon down. And then from there, um, we just, we took some good breaks. How many breaks did we take, Vic? Every two miles, I think we were yeah, kind of, yeah. Roughly. So every two miles seemed to be pretty good. Um, and I'm pretty stoked about, I think that, the gear, the clothes, um, I mean, it, the boots, the water. I was worried about going across the, the Gila so many times that, you know, my feet were going to be heavy, uh, be miserable. Not at all. Not at all, man. It was, it was so nice, so comfortable. Um, I did get a little bit at the end. I started feeling something in my boots, and I thought, uh-oh, maybe there's something going on, and, you know, to me, that's one of the things that you don't wait. I mean, if you, you mm -hmm. think you got a problem, sit down. Or a hot spot. Hot spot. And I was kind of getting to that point when we were finishing that it was like, you better take care of this. So we we were trying to shoot for a good campsite. We kept thinking and just kept hiking. It's like, and then finally we're like, okay, this is it, man. We got to find something. So we dropped our bags right across one of the crossings. I was getting water. Ryan free willed it with no pack on came up and he found this nice site right here so this is really i mean there's several places right here where we're close to water still but what's cool though honestly is if <laughs> highly unlikely but if there was a lot of rain this would be a protected area from flooding a little bit yeah, yeah at least we would possibly know and We'd hear have time it and be able to get out to, to bivy up well this. i wouldn't you would why well because you're on the ground i'm gonna be in the hammock oh you could just stay there huh <laughs> float you're already drowned, and I'm <laughs> yeah. hanging in the hammock. Dad, get up! Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, he, he, he had good snoring. But, so anyway, yeah, this is gorgeous. Um, again, I mean, just when you look around and at this area, and then looking up the canyon wall there, uh, you can't see it as well, but this entire thing, and anytime you watch anybody who will, goes up the Middle Forks or any of these, they talk about how amazing that that pulling into the canyon and that narrowness that you feel and you look up um i think the most stiff to me was you're wanting to look up you need to look up and enjoy yourself but you've got these miles you got to get it's like you got to go got to go got to go you know you need to get to that spot but then you realize you know wait a minute i'm here to hike i need to enjoy myself um and then you start looking up and you see uh what amazing area it is so um, the hardest part for me, the logging. Really? You went there? <laughs> you know, the one perspective person that I was going to get, he just unsubscribed. Yeah, right. <laughs> nope. All right, Captain. Any update? Navigator, <laughs> still eating. <laughs> Damn it, Jim. I told you again. Let's stop going there. I'm a medical doctor. Okay, we're going to have to bleep that out. Okay, I think that's about it. We got enough information, probably way too much. So now we got to get busy setting up the camp, take a few photos. Okay, that's enough. This is for our future ancestors. 
Bye.